Hi there guys, so I have just checked in to the Royal National Hotel in London. I've never stayed here before, totally new to me. Got to be honest, when I was walking past, it didn't look great from the outside, but let's have a look. So you go and pass through the corridor into your room. First thing you see when you get into your room is an open cupboard, wardrobe space, and a few coat hangers. It's quite a, uh, a narrow hallway, but that's all right. You've got a nice full-size mirror. Good to see, nice full-size mirror. Bathroom, so the bathroom's on the right as you walk in the door. Things to hang your dressing gown up if you had one. Nice big mirror in your bathroom. Decent pressure on the tap. Couple of glasses. Looks clean enough. In fact, it looks very clean. Looks can be deceiving from outside to say. So you've got some Urban Skincare Co. It's a nice body, hand and body cleaner, rather than just the cheap stuff. Nice little touch. Got some branded towels. So again, we're in the Royal, some National Royal Hotel. I'll confirm that 100% very shortly. But it's got this little logo on the towel. So that's a nice touch for the towels. Yeah, it looks clean, everything looks clean, very clean bathroom, it's quite a modern bathroom, uh, not bathroom, shower room, silly me. It's quite yeah. modern as you can see, like, it looks like it's uh, recently had a refurb. The shower area, it's quite modern as you can see, it's clean, there's no mats anywhere, which is nice to see, most hotels you go into, you often see little black marks in well, some of the ones I stay in anyway, maybe not uh, nicer ones. Let's check the shower. Again, you got a tonic hand and body cleaner, lemongrass, orange and ginger, and resurrect hair wash. Let's see if it resurrects my hair and grows it thicker. Touch wood. Uh, so let's try the shower. The question is, how do you try the shower? Let's try this switch here. No. Select, this is the weird tech. I don't know how to do this shower, to be honest with you, I don't know how to do it. Um, how do I, oh, silly me, it's here. <laughs> oh, that is powerful. Okay, I guess you're just the settings. By pressing that select button there, yeah. Right, so yeah, it's got like a, a select button there as you can see and you press that to change the settings and another setting but now my shoes are wet so I am not on that I didn't see that towel there oh blood my neck right switching that off for now ah oh, dear me I've literally been busy all day I've been out the house since about um whew, 10 past 7 this morning I've been out the house it's now it's now getting on for six o'clock at night I've just walked in the room been busy, done a lot of walking, so I'm taking my shoes off. So much needed. Ah, that's better. Don't you love it when you take your shoes off after you've just been in these tight shoes all day? Hmm. I'm going to need some new shoes, to be honest. Yeah, definitely going to need some new shoes. So, back to the room review. You've got a hairdryer. Yeah. Definitely don't need to warm up with it though, because one thing I noticed when I walked into this room, it is actually quite warm, this room, it's quite humid, quite mild. So I'm going to try and figure a way to switch these radiators off. But while we do that, this is the view from the window. So, does the window open? Yes, it does. And you can even open it wider by taking this chain off. Oh no, you can't. It's got a safety thing. I thought that was going to be a bit strange, but let you do that. But anyway, that's the view from the window. I'm on the sixth floor, 6040. Oh, let's confirm the real name for it. Royal. Royal National. Royal National Hotel. 
guest services. You can now access our full range of hotel services at your fingertips. Simply scan your QR code and do that. So you've got coffee making tea facilities. Nescaf Gold. Twinnings English breakfast tea. Couple of milks. Well, four milks to be precise. And a couple of sugars. You've got two cups. Yeah, nice and clean. What's that? A little drip tray thing. Kettle. Yeah, no water in the kettle. Got a TV, 32 inch. Uh, so yeah, from the outside, I didn't think it looked much. Well, it did look much, but to be honest, when you're inside, it looks all right. I haven't got any air con, I don't think. Let's double check. No, I haven't got any air con, so that's a... Uh, but then again, we are in the centre of London, right in the centre. So you don't get anything cheap in the centre. So I should say this hotel still costs a fair bit. So like I say, it's all nice walls. All looks like it's been modernly decorated, to be honest with you. The carpet is very comfortable. I don't know whether that's because I've had them tight shoes on all day and it's just feeling lovely on my feet. But no, the carpet does feel very comfortable. The bed, it's a double bed, but it's two beds put together. I wonder who the Royal Hotel is actually owned by. Royal National Hotel. I'm going to look at that up. It's just got a bit of a Britannia Hotel feel to it. But we'll see. Let's check the bed. Okay, that bed... It's quite hard, to be honest with you. The bed's actually quite hard. It's like a very hard bed. But let me just try that again. When I lay on it, it's actually not that bad. That's quite a comfortable bed, you know. It's hard. It's quite comfortable. So, yeah, I like that bed, to be fair with you. Now, let's ruin it. So, it's, it looks nice at the moment. Now, I'm going to ruin it by pulling the cover back. But it needs to be done. Yeah, it cleans. Bed test success. Bed test success. Uh, where's my phone? So yeah, uh, I do need to look for my phone. Um, so yeah, this room, what would I give it out of 10? So like I say, it's the Royal National Hotel, London City Centre. Out of 10, putting everything into consideration, I would say this one comfortably fits 7.5 out of 10. So that's a 7.5 out of 10. So if it's out of 100, I'd give it 75%. So yeah, the Royal National Hotel signing off. Take care. Thanks for watching. So I can confirm 100% that that shower is awesome. All the different modes on that shower by pressing that button is magical. One of them is so good, it's like having a massage. The way all the water flips at you. Absolutely amazing. Does your head a world of wonders when you've been busy all day. But anyway, now it's time to go and get some cocktails. Signing out. For now, thank you.